Hi and welcome to another update video on setting up the brand new Engrando Guitars workshop and in this episode I'm mainly going to focus on the technical installation in this workshop, getting all the electrics done, power outlets on the wall, lighting on the ceiling, also hook up all the equipment to some dust extraction and hopefully by the end of this episode I also have all my tools back on the wall. I'm not going to go into too much detail when it comes to the electrical installation because it differs from country to country and where you are, what you're allowed to do yourself. Uh, in some countries you need to be a certified electrician to do anything when it comes to electrics and also methods and, and, and rules and regulations differ from country to country. So I'm just going to show you some clips of me working on the electrical installation and that's also mainly because for the most part I'm going to make it up as I go. One thing I do want to mention is power outlets. Make sure you have enough power outlets that they are according to regulations and standards and fit as much as you can or are allowed to in your workshop. You can't have enough power outlets. I'm trying to figure out where to put my workbench and bolt it securely down to the floor at its final position but it's a bit tricky because ideally I like my workbench, the center of my workbench to be in line with an LED lighting panel that's hanging over there of course with you guys and the camera. Still have enough space to walk behind the bench in between the cabinets and the bench itself and on top here just out of frame there's a ceiling beam and ideally I want that to be centered above the bench as well so I can maybe at a later stage mount a camera to the beam to have some top-down views maybe put a mic here to get a better sound quality and maybe some additional lights to shine on my work surface so that's why I hung a plumb line from the center of the beam to the center of my workbench indicated by this piece of tape with an X on it, so X marks the spot. So when I remove the temporary base, I can put the bench exactly where I want it to. Well, the 
workbench is all mounted and I'm pretty pleased and as you can see it has no troubles at all raising me and I think this is going to be very very useful not only for building guitars but for general woodwork as well and I have to say yeah it's pretty sturdy sturdy enough to do some plating and some major woodwork on this bench and yeah and this is another job I can mark off my to-do list It's a bit slow.
I made a French cleat system and mounted it over the entire width of the back wall and now it's finally time to put back all the hand tools. And the nice thing about a French cleat system is you have, can have these little shelves with a hook on the back. I can just put them wherever I want and rearrange the tools until I'm happy uh, with the layout. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to put all my hand tools back on the wall, rearrange them until I'm happy with the layout. It's nice and efficient and it also looks good for you guys as well. Almost all the tools are back on the wall and I must confess this is taking me much longer than I anticipated because for some reason I can't settle on a layout and I keep changing things. Sometimes I spend a day filling everything and the next day I'm taking it all down because I'm not happy with the layout. But for now I think this should be fine and the final layout will come when I'm working in this workshop. Speaking of working in the workshop instead of at the workshop itself before i continue to sort everything out and finish the workshop i have some guitars to look after because coming saturday saturday the 23rd of september i'll be attending the vintage guitar show venendal with a couple of my guitars so if you're able to come and say hi check out uh, my guitars have a play have a look around and enjoy a wonderful uh, guitar related day I'm going to attend to these guitars, get them show ready and hopefully get this video out in time to you guys. I know it's been a while and it will take a while for the next video as well because there's a lot going on but yeah I hope you liked this video nonetheless and if you did let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment or a question in the comment section down below. I highly appreciate it if you did. And yeah, of course, I hope to see a lot of you guys next week at the guitar show. And if not, keep an eye out for the next video. But until then, as always, have a nice week.